Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an ASUS ROG Zephyrus G14 also known as a GA401 Q model. That information can be found on the BIOS or on the bottom of the laptop on the sticker. And in this video I'm gonna go over how you can open it up and how you can remove or replace the battery in here. If yours is not holding up any more charge or it just is charging really quick then you won't want to replace your battery. I'll try to get the link for the compatible batteries for this one and I'll leave them in the video description. Also just remember once you put a new battery in it is very very important to follow the first charge and discharge instructions. I'll explain that at the end of the video. It is very important if you want your battery to last longer and what you, how you can do a maintenance for the battery once every two months at least. I'll cover that at the end of the video. So for now, let's just power it off and open up and show you demonstration on how to remove or replace. First thing first, power it off. I'll put a workshop towel on here. We're gonna flip it upside down and we're gonna have the front end of the laptop facing us. And we are gonna grab a opening tool and a screwdriver set. I recommend you guys to grab the iFixit screwdriver set as they have one of the best yeah, bits out there. These are made out of S2 class steel bit. You're gonna use a Phillips number zero. If you get the pro set, it will include you with an opening tool, some tweezers. If not, grab the basic set. For the opening tool, I'll be using a guitar pick. And metallic guitar picks are really suitable to opening cases and covers. All right, with these two on hand, let's get it started. Also, a plastic rod or wooden rod like this, that'll be fine. Now, once the front end of the laptop is facing you, there's two types of screws and one screw that we're not gonna touch until the end. The, fr the front end from the left to the right, the three of them, these are the short ones, so you wanna remove these three screws. First, from the left side front to the right, first three screws. These are the short screws. Remove them and keep them in one pile. Leave this corner one for the end. I'll explain. Now, the four in the middle and the side and the back row, these are the longer screws. So go ahead and remove all of them and keep them in a different pile. Also, if you guys like my videos, if you find my videos helpful and helping you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comment area. I appreciate that. All right, now that we remove all the screws, except the one in the corner. The reason is because the one in the corner here has a little C-lock on it on the other side that will prevent the screw coming out entirely. But the C-lock, what it does, the advantage is to push the cover, the bottom cover from the palm rest. So as soon as I start rotating this one, you're gonna see a cover push itself away from the palm rest right there. And that's what's the magical thing about the C-locks. Once you have it open like that, now you want to stick the guitar pick in between the bottom cover and you just want to twist it. Do that all around in the front end. You can do a little bit of the sides if you want, but by doing the front and then you can grab it, just wiggle it like this and pull it up and it will release itself. Now, right down here, you can see the humongous battery on the front row. This is a Asus 15.4 volt. Uh, same thing as a 76 watt hour battery. The model is a C41N1908. Again, I'll try to get the link for this one and I'll leave it in the video description. The capacity is a 4,940 milliamp hour battery. All right, to remove this one, first we're gonna disconnect it. To disconnect it, you wanna push this metal jack towards the right, this one right here, you wanna push it towards the right, just a little bit, just like that. As soon as it clears this white plastic here. You don't wanna do a bit of metallic uh, conductor. And then what you wanna do, you wanna grab this flip thing here, the gaffer thing, and you wanna pull it up and help it from the underneath to lift it up. And you wanna bend it over. Now you're gonna remove a few screws. One screw here, one screw right there, and at the back here. So there are four screws to remove. There's no screws here because it goes from the bottom cover. So remove the short screws on the side, and the short screws on the front, two of them.
and one accelerator. Once you remove it, just simply lift up the battery and bring it up. There is a two battery, one, two, three, four cell batteries in here. I don't know if they do sell, they might have it as a higher capacity. This is 4,900. They might have a 5,000 probably or 6,000. Uh, it will be thicker, so it will not fit in here. So I don't know how they're gonna manage it. So this is the main battery. But now if you wanna remove the BIOS battery, is this tiny one over here. It's just, just that jack, just pull and push and has an adhesive. But you don't need to replace this one at all. And maybe every once every six, seven years, but it lasts forever. That's for the BIOS configuration. Let's say that you got a new battery in. You wanna bring it, there's a tiny pin hole in here, secondary hole. You wanna make sure those pin holes are aligned and then bring it down. Make sure the screw holes are nicely exposed. You wanna put the four screws, two on each side. I mean, one on each side and two on the bottom row. Now, what you wanna do, you wanna make sure, it's very important, I'll repeat myself, make sure you align it straight over the jack before you push it down on the motherboard. Otherwise, if you move it around, it's gonna make a short and adios motherboard. Once it's all this sitting flush there, you just wanna push the jack over the uh, connector. Once you have it in there, all you wanna do, is grab the bottom cover, align it right on top, push the back corners first, Back mid, sides, front mid, except this one. Don't push it on the one that you have a screw. You want to tighten up this screw and it's going to pull the cover to itself. And there we have it. Just if you see any gap opening, just pinch them and it will go to its place. And the last thing down here is to put the bottom screws. Now, regarding the battery, it is very important once you put a new battery in there, do not power on the laptop. Plug the charger, leave it charging for at least four to five hours. After four to five hours, you want to disconnect the, bad char the charger and you want to power it on. Bring the brightness of the screen down to 50% and put some light work like a YouTube video, some movies. Don't put any games or anything like that. Let it drain down the battery down to 30-20% by itself. Once the battery is down to 20 to 30%, then you want to power it off and once it's off you want to leave it charging for another four to five hours after four to five hours then you can just power it on the way you wish that initial charge and discharge it is very important that you do it for a new battery at the beginning and keep doing that once at least every two months to keep your uh, batteries on the best performance state again i hope you guys like this video and helped you guys out if you have any question or request Feel free to leave them in a video comment or I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.